Kevin Harvick got what he wanted, a caution flag, but it wasn't pretty. The Goodies Headache Powders 200 under yellow because Aaron Fike spun up in turn number three. And long after the caution waved was T-boned by Hermie Sadler. Both drivers are okay. You see them both. But the damage to those cars is heavy. Fike will be the 43 down on the inside. He gets cut off a little bit there. Johnny Sauter. Tries to stay off of Sauter, and in, in the process of doing that, he spins the car around. Whoa, that was a great move there. Bobby Hamilton. Bobby Hamilton squeezes through on the outside. Now, Fike's holding the car up here. He's not going to let it roll down the hill. He's going to lock the brakes up here. Now, remember, they, everybody's supposed to be slowing down right now. You're not gaining anything by racing. The field is frozen. Now, you're going to see this car start to roll, but I'm not so sure he didn't see Hermie coming and thought, oh, gee. Oh. That was a hard hit. I, I think he saw that car coming, and he said, he's not going to miss me. Yeah, I mean, he's all the, all the way up on the outside. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to say what a driver's thinking, but I think the 43, Fike thought he was. He saw him coming. He said, oh, gee, i got to get down. Here's how Michael Waltrip saw it. And he saw all of that. I agree, Darrell. You know, Hermes coming to the high side. Well, I'll give him room up there. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what he thought when he, when he, then he realized, oh my gosh, that is right in the driver's door. Both guys got out and walked to the Hamlets, though. Uh, that says a lot for the integrity of these race cars. And the 43 was just, I mean, hadn't, he didn't have any damage. He just spun and he was just sitting there. Hermes Sadler, his crew chief and spotter, will have a meeting in the Bush Series officials truck after this race is over. And right now, Pitt Road. You know what I like, though? 26 laps to go. Nobody has any tires. You can just say, go, boys, go. And we will when we come back. Very good. Well, uh, it's my fault. I don't know what happened to the 43 to get him sideways, but I had my car was really fast up on the high side, and I jumped up on the outside of the 20 to make a pass, and my guy said, you know, uh, caution's out. And uh, as soon as I looked up, the 43 was there. I started slowing down and started turning down to the bottom, and when I did, he let go of the brakes, and, you know, he didn't see me coming. I mean, so it's my fault. I should have slowed down quicker, but say hello to everybody at home. I'm fine. Thanks, everybody, for the fans' car and everybody for supporting us. You know, we had a really good car going, and um, just can't seem to get to the end of these things, but I'm fine, and we'll try again in Vegas. Oh, no, so close, Matt. Kevin Bonomania's car will restart from here off of the, either that turn two or down here in three and four. He's going to open the door. Two of the young guns, Here Jamie comes McMurray. Truex. He's driving that baby in there for all she's worth. <laughs> he oh, in there. He yeah. did what he had to do. <laughs> and it slid up the hill on him. Jamie McMurray. Bring it home, buddy. Come on. That's four in a row right here. Four in a row. Jamie McMurray wins the Goodies Headache Powders 200. One thing I noticed about McMurray, he gets, he gets into the corner smoother than anybody I see here. Trouble at start finish. Ashton Lewis and Kenny Wallace crash. That was a battle oh, for oh, 15. Oh, come on, boy, slow down. Man. Now, even on the last lap, the cars do not race to the flag if the caution is displayed. Yeah, but but that all happened way behind yeah. Jamie McMurray. And they're over here. They're across the finish line. Those guys are racing to the finish line. So, Darrell, this has to be so rewarding for Jamie McMurray, though, to have accomplished what he has accomplished with three different race teams. That, exactly. it, that is amazing right there. And it answers your question. Was it the car or the driver? Now we know. Okay, now we know. Ashton Lewis in his unsponsored car and Kenny Wallace in a pickup ride were battling for 15th at the flag when they collided. Coming off turn four. Whoops. Kenny come up in front of Ashton there to try to I wouldn't say necessarily block him. It's just kind of what happens here. And uh, you see the results. Shame to tear up two good race cars in the last 100 feet of the race. For 15th place. And especially since that Stanton Barrett's car, the 91 car, that he basically put Kenny Wallace in where he could start this race. We'll be back as Jamie McMurray has won four in a row at the Rock. 